Throughout the Old Testament, and especially in the books of the law, we recognize that the Jewish people had to be vigilant and sensitive to what was clean and unclean as it impacted their relationship with the Lord. Now, there was a hygienic purpose behind these laws, but there was also a spiritual purpose to teach the Jews the difference between holiness and sin and encourage them to walk in holiness. Now, in Numbers 19, God gives details regarding at least two important topics related to being clean before him. First is the sacrifice of what's known as the, the red heifer, a reddish-brown cow that was to be without defect or blemish. Look at verses 1 through 3. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Here is another legal requirement commanded by the Lord. Tell the people of Israel to bring you a red heifer a perfect animal that has no defects, has never been yoked to a plow. Give it to Eliezer, the priest, and it will be taken outside the camp and slaughtered in his presence. You see, this animal is a foreshadowing of the sacrifice of Jesus for sin. Jesus was without blemish, just as the red heifer was. And just as the ashes of the animal cleanse the people from contamination of death, so too Jesus' sacrifice saves us from the penalty of death. Now, the second aspect of this chapter is the water purification necessary for anyone who is to come into contact with a dead body. Now, as believers today, we don't worry about external rituals of uncleanness, but we should take to heart the lesson of this chapter. That's that God wants us to be a holy people. Listen to what Paul writes to the early church in 2 Corinthians 7. But we have these promises, dear friends, let us cleanse ourselves from everything that can defile our body or spirit, and let us work toward complete holiness because we fear God. You see, the lessons for us from Numbers 19 today are clear. Jesus is our great sacrifice who saves us from the penalty of sin. And let us walk in holiness as God desires for us to be his holy, redeemed, saved people. Mm -hmm.